Welcome to the Freddie Pino channel where we explore the art of home distillation and more. Ever pondered on the possibility of creating your own vodka right at home? Well, wonder no more. Today we're diving into the captivating world of homemade vodka. First and foremost, we'll need ingredients. The heart of any vodka is a base of fermentable sugars. For a classic vodka, we'll use potatoes. However, you can opt for other bases like grains or fruits. The second step involves creating a mash by boiling your chosen base. This process breaks down the starches into simple sugars, making it fermentable. Next, we introduce yeast to the cooled mash. This little organism is a powerhouse, transforming the sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide in a process called fermentation. Once fermentation is completed, the fun part begins. Distillation. Distillation is a process of heating the fermented mash to separate the alcohol from the rest of the mixture. This is where a still comes into play. It's a simple device that can be store-bought or homemade. The distillation process involves heating the fermented mash. As the mash heats up, alcohol and other substances evaporate, and these vapors are collected in a separate container. The goal here is to collect the heart of the distillate, which is the purest and most flavorful part of the vodka. After distillation, we will have a high-proof alcohol. It's time to dilute it with distilled water until we reach the desired strength. Most vodkas are around 40% alcohol by volume, but feel free to adjust to your personal preference. Lastly, we move on to the optional yet exciting part, flavor infusion. Here's where you can let your creativity run wild. From lemon peels to chili peppers, the choices are infinite. Simply add your chosen flavors to the vodka, let it sit for a few days, and voila, you have your very own flavored vodka. In conclusion, making homemade vodka involves selecting a base, creating a mash, fermenting, distilling, diluting, and optional flavoring. Thanks for joining us on this distillation adventure. If you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with other home distillation enthusiasts. Until next time, happy distilling.